Do you recognize this situation? You have spent hours or maybe even days making flashcards and testing yourself, but you just don't seem to be able to remember anything. Well, luckily you are not the only one with this problem and there is actually a very good explanation and solution for it. So if you want to find out what it is, then make sure to keep on watching. Hi, my name is Jael. I study educational sciences and on this channel I share with you all the proper scientifically based stuff that you need to know about learning and education so that you can be the best and happiest and healthiest student that you can be. So the topic of today's video is active recall. And for those of you who don't know, active recall is a study method where you actively try to remember or recall information from your brain instead of just passively reading over it. And researchers have found quite convincing evidence that this is a very effective study method. The Lasky et al. found that practice testing and distributed practice received high utility assessments because they benefit learners of different ages and abilities and have been shown to boost students' performance across many criterion tasks and even in educational contexts. And Rudiger and Butler found that Retrieval practice is actually a powerful mnemonic enhancer, often producing large gains in long-term retention relative to repeated studying. And here, repeated studying just refers to rereading the material. So, how does active recall work? Well, imagine that you are trying to remember that the Dutch translation for the word learning is leren. Casually plugging my native language here. Then, to learn this, you need to form a connection in your brain between the words learning and leren. And every time you use a connection in your brain, it gets stronger. So by practicing active recall, you force yourself to really use this connection. And if you do this repeatedly, you make this connection stronger and stronger until you don't really have to use any effort anymore to remember it. So then you are now probably wondering, if this is supposed to work like that, why isn't it working for me? Well, the image I just sketched there is actually a very oversimplified image of how memory works. It is based on Pavlovian learning or operant conditioning, which is commonly referred to as the OG learning theory. But the problem with this theory is that it was tested on dogs. The researcher Ivan Pavlov, 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 I don't know, rang a bell every time that he brought his dogs food until the dogs started to associate the bell with food and started salivating when the bell was rung, even when no food was being brought. And don't get me wrong, humans are definitely also animals and you can definitely pavlov your crush into associating you with positive things if you give him a snack every time you see him. However, it is definitely not the most efficient way for humans to memorize things. Human brains have developed the ability to create way more complicated connections than animals with a less developed brain. And you can use these more advanced connections to speed up your memorization process and learn things more effectively. And this is exactly what the American researcher David Ausubel based his learning theory called subsumption or assimilation theory on. Basically, he theorized that in order to retain new information, you need to link new information to the things that you already know, which will allow you to actually understand the information and will help you to remember new information because of all the connections that are made through this linking process. And even though David Ausubel was really more of a theory guy and never really empirically tested this specific part of his theory, other researchers have found evidence that support it. For example, research on the use of mnemonics, which are ways to improve your memory, which often rely on linking new information to things you already know, found that it was an effective way to memorize things and even changes your brain structure in ways that improve your memory. And another very old study found that better understanding of a text was related to improved recall. So what is the solution to this problem? You need to make sure that before using active recall, you actually understand the material that you are learning. Because if you are just using active recall, you should be able to recall and recall again and again until it sticks, but it will just take you way and way longer. Whereas if you actually go through the process of linking and understanding the material first, you create a stable cognitive network with multiple paths towards the thing that you are trying to remember, which makes it way easier to recall this information and ensures that you don't forget it as quickly. So before using active recall, it's probably better to use a more understanding-based learning strategy that encourages you to make links, such as mind maps or concept maps. And you don't have to be scared that this will take you more time, because from my own experience, the time that you invest in first properly understanding the material pays back tenfold because you will just have to spend way less time trying to actually memorize the information you learned. And on top of that, research by Ward and Walker found that the deep processing students who commonly used multiple study methods 
not only succeeded in a class, but also had better recall. Students who relied on a memorization-heavy surface approach to learning had limited recall and tended to perform poorly in the class. So, as research has shown, it will also definitely pay back in your actual study results. So, to conclude, if you are finding that active recall is not working for you, I definitely recommend you to reflect on your current study approach and see if you are first actually giving yourself the time to properly understand the material before moving on to active recall based memorization techniques. And if this is not the case, then make sure to incorporate a more understanding and linking based study technique into your study routine. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that it was helpful. If you did, then make sure to give it a like so that others might find it as well. And let me know in the comments if you try this out whether it actually worked for you. And also definitely let me know if you still have any questions about active recall or another study related topic that I could answer in the next video. And then all there's left to do is to wish you lots of love and a life of learning. Mm.